Well, this weekend it's Iowa's turn to be busy with high school football championship games, and that meant a return appearance for the West Sioux Falcons. Although this year, Ryan Schwiso's team moved up to Class 1A. Only two teams had ever gone back to back in different classes. Falcons were down 23 to 10 in the second quarter when Hunter Deckers went to work, hitting Cade Lynott for that five-yard score. West Sioux then goes and scores again. Lynott for the touchdown from two yards out. They're up by a point at halftime. They trail though when Dyke New Hartford scores twice in a 20 second span and leads 38-31 in the fourth. But from there, Deckers takes over. He was unbelievable today. Lynott, 55 yards to the house and we're tied up at 38. Minutes later, hey, do it again. They can't stop it. Another touchdown. Lynott had 10 catches for 203 yards and three touchdowns. And this guy had five touchdown passes in this great run for a score. This one ices the game. He, uh, he knows it too. That makes it 52 to 38 and they are back to back champs in different classes no less. Let's go to your scoreboard. That was your final. Deckers had a monster game, accounting for over 500 yards and six touchdowns. Lineout was pretty good, too. Falcons go back to back. Their only loss was to Boyden Hull Rock Valley. Now, that's who played in the next game as the Nighthawks go for the 2A title against top seeded PCM Monroe. They're down 7 0 when Reed Worth airs it out and finds Brayton Van Dyke, and they're down 13 0 at halftime. JT Van Hull finds Cody. Post on the sideline, a 28-yard score. Nighthawks back in it, down just 13-7. But that top-seeded team played like it. They score the final three touchdowns. Worth to Isaac Telfer. The Mustangs blow the game open. They win 28-7. That's their first title as they go to 13-0 on the year. The Nighthawks with a great season finish at 11-2.